today I'm going to teach you how to install Google Analytics onto your WordPress website. So let's go ahead and get started. So first let's go ahead and go to Google and let's go to Google Analytics. Google Analytics and go ahead and just click right here. Google Analytics and we're going to go to the top right right here and click sign in. Now I already have a Gmail account but if you don't you're going to have to make one. So go ahead and click Google Analytics and I'm already logged in as you guys can see WilsonReview99.gmail.com. If you don't you have to make your own and just follow the process. Okay. So let's go ahead and click sign up. Account name. So my account name is going to be uh, Daryl. My website name is web design. The URL required www.webdesign.com the industry category we're gonna go ahead and put I mean if you like to make cookies then you're gonna put food uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put computers and electronics I live in California so Pacific time is good these right here you don't really need to have checked however it's strictly up to you if you want Google's products and services emailed to you you can go ahead and do that or technical support I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck these boxes right here get tracking ID now we're left with the terms and service go ahead and read through this I'm sure everyone is gonna read through this and make a copy so go ahead and read through that and accept it okay great so now we're brought to this page right here and as you can see we have a lot of options we have a lot of stuff to look at so now before we look into all this, we're going to go ahead and go back to our website and we're going to go to our dashboard. Now we're going to go to plugins and go to add new. Now this is the easiest way to do it. There's several different ways to do it. You can actually copy and paste the meta tag into your, uh, in your code, but for just the average Joe, this is the best way to do it. So for search plugins right here, we're going to type in Google analytics. Go ahead and press enter. Voila, Google Analytics. Go ahead and click install now. And we're going to activate the plugin. All right, activate the plugin. Okay, great. So now that we have Google Analytics installed, we're going to go ahead and go to our uh, Google Analytics page right here under settings and click Google, Google Analytics. And now we have a web property ID. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our code right here, which is our tracking ID. We're going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to go ahead and paste it right here. Go ahead and paste it and click save changes. That's it. We're done. We've successfully installed Google analytics. So now we go back to our website right here. We can go ahead and click home right here. It's going to say, uh, you know, preferences, Whatever you like to put, uh, you know, check whatever you like. I'm going to go ahead and just press save preferences. Go to all website data. And now the website is being monitored by Google Analytics. So it's going to let you know about how many page views, uh, how many users, uh, how many time people access the website, uh, pages per session, like how long they're on each page, and also the bounce rate. Now the bounce rate is actually bad. That's basically saying when someone comes to your website, they leave right away and that's considered a bounce rate it means they don't really take the time to look at your website they sort of just go on it and go off so if you have a bounce rate of more than at least 60 70 percent maybe your landing page needs some improvement maybe it's not really appealing to them or they look at it and they say i i don't want to be here i'm out of here so generally around 70 percent you don't want to be 50 percent or lower looking good so that's it thanks for watching my video if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, go ahead and leave them in the description and I'll get back to you guys. Thanks a bunch. Thanks for watching. See you.